is all about fun and changes. For one, Stampy plays the last three of his target's minigames and renovates the doghouse, which we will get to in the broadcast. But we also have a huge announcement about Stampy's lovely world that you might want to be aware of at the end of this video. Now, if you want to skip to the end just to hear the news, this will be it. Sierra will leave in chapters for you to check out the video in the video description. Now, it's time to get into the video. In the first week, Stampy plays Minecart Jump, a game played by his target where you have to jump between the minecarts to flip on some lamps of your color. Stampy and her helpers find that the game is very difficult, in some cases based on a little bit of luck. William wins the game. Stampy ranks in the name at 3.5 out of 10, and the gameplay is a solid 5 out of 10. He has no interest in playing another round of this game, even when changing up a bit. In the next week, Stampy and the helpers play another one of his target's minigames, Arrow Dodge, which is, of course, is a course of scaffolding where you have to get to the other side first. In the end, the Bubberfish wins, sufficing themselves to suffocation from lack of water. It was a valiant effort. Stampy gives the name a 5 out of 10. Not bad. He comments that the game looks fairly decent, giving it a 6 out of 10. Liking the touch with the fire. Overall, gameplay, though, was a shocking 7.8 out of 10. Even he doesn't know why. <laughs> He's stating that it was, a, it was a good concept, but not really fun to play if you weren't the one shooting. The last mini game Stappy and the helpers played was Eggs and Chickens. It's a target's way of using eggs without needing a dragon egg. The game is overall fun to play, and Stampy comments on how if it's a target ever wanted to stop being a villain, that he should create his own funland and make his own games. The name wasn't bad. Stampy gave it a 6 out of 10. The design was basically a mimic to Stampy's design, leaving it a 7 out of 10. Stampy gives the game an excellent 10 out of 10 in the end. After all of the playing around and hit the target's minigame, Stampy, Polly, and Fizzy work on renovating the doghouse, making it look amazing. Though William wasn't very feeling very well, so there's that. I know some people might be sad that the nostalgia classic factor is gone, but you have to admit, and Sierra said it herself, he has hermit potential. Stampy is also pranked by Polly and Fizzy with a splash of lingering potions at the door, going to the love garden. Similar to how Pearl does her twinkly trash shop smell in season 9 of Hermitcraft. She ever wrote that in her notes. Not me. So, rumors are around the Chester has a target and we were, um, are up to no good again. Sears even told me that she woke up hearing both him and Viva talking about some sort of plan. She didn't catch much, but she wanted to tell you all to keep an eye out. So I'll be back. And when they do, when they are, it'll be big. But alas, it is only a rumor. I'm sure there's no reason to worry. But that leads us to the last part of the video. The announcement! Sierra will put a picture of what she discovered on Twitter. Stampy replied to one of a fan's tweets asking him about whether or not Stampy would end the lovely world at episode 800. He confirms that it will not. However, he does plan to end the series shortly after the milestone. Sierra wants you to know not to worry, though, as he does have plans for After Love the World. Whatever that is, I don't know. And I, or she, so don't really ask her. <laughs> but take heart. It also means we'll be able to have Stampy's world to ourselves and relive the nostalgia we all, all we want. Or find secrets to theorize about. Or if you just want to make yourself home or whatever you want here. Create your own stories. Your eyes. Plan. Have fun. You know. The fun stuff. That does it for this month of January. It was a great month. There is so much more to do yet inside this lovely world. Even as Stappy starts to finish whatever he wants to complete. There is still more broadcasts ahead until the series ends. Till then... I'm your host, Sophia Bengal, signing out.